100 years since Clara Grant started the Fern Street Settlement, one of the major events in Bromley by Bow in recent years. And it's wonderful to see the children with their farthings, although I think we have to buy the farthings in especially today, because they're not as common as they were, but getting their bundles. Although I noticed one or two of the children were slightly too tall, but then I'm sure there was always a bit of cheating going on. And it's wonderful to see her memory preserved, because she really was an enormous benefactress. She came from the countryside, she wasn't a London girl, but she loved London. She gave her life to the East End, and it's lovely to see her being remembered today. When she came to the East End, she realised that although the kids had lots of, you know, there were lots of social work being done for them, what they really needed was some presents sometime and a bit of fun. But she also believed that, you know, they should um, make a contribution. So kids had to pay a farthing and they got a bundle, quite a considerable bundle of all sorts of you know, goodies and toys. And in order to make sure that only the younger children got them, that she created this arch, the farthing bundle arch. Uh, with the inscription on the top that uh, only the smaller children should come. None too tall may enter. But if you notice, and look at it closely, you'll see that the arch has been increased in size over the years. Because obviously children were growing as, you know, as, as the years passed and you know, we got slightly more affluent and food was better. Children grew. And so if you look at the arch, you can see they've added on about three inches to it. But still, enter all ye children small, and none can come who are too tall. Just one at a time, and then you'll get a parcel. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be the vicar of All Hallows Church just across the road here where Clara Grant was a member and where after the war and after the church was bombed and rebuilt uh, a font was put in in memory of Clara Grant and I was involved for many years with the Fern Street Settlement and it was one of the highlights of my time here. Clara came from Wiltshire yeah. originally at the age of 13, I know that she was already training to be a teacher. She had this dream mm. of being a teacher in the East End. Mm. And where she got her faith from, I don't know. Her father was a shopkeeper, but she was church warden of this church mm. for many years. Okay. And was also head teacher of, I presume, the church school, All Hallows okay. School. Apparently there were five, what they called tin churches. Um, I assume that means they were made of corrugated iron. Oh, wow. okay. And then later, one school was built, the present Clara Grant School, I assume, okay. or its predecessor, yeah. and all of those schools were amalgamated into one, and she became the head of yeah. Devon's Road yeah. School, okay. which later was called, Dev uh, was called Clara Grant yeah. School after her so she was church warden of this school okay. she was head teacher of all hallows and then of devon school and she had this tremendous care 
for the people of mm. this area, mm. the children, their parents, and the way that they struggled financially. Yes. And she yes. did her best to alleviate the difficulties that they were experiencing. Mm. And this is where I think the farthing bundles came mm. from. Mm. Um, she insisted that they paid their farthing, uh, but she put in there things that would be useful mm. to the children and to their families. What kind of things were, were packaged? I've read about it, but I don't actually remember. But I, I should okay. imagine they were little toys, toothbrushes, yeah. soap, yeah. the same sort of thing that you'd probably <coughs> put in packets for Kosovo yes. at Christmas and yeah. things yeah. like that, like we did two or three years ago. There I am. That's, this, that's me. That's my sister. That's you. That's you. I ought to know you then. Elsie Devil? Oh. Willie Devil? Oh. And you are? Sorry, Carl. <laughs> Did you hear that? No. Florrie, listen. Sorry, Carl. Oh, yes. Oh, well. It's a farthing. Oh, that's a farthing. It's a farthing. There you are, baby. That's me. That's why I was wow. determined I was going to go through that. Fantastic. That's great. That's great. That's great. Brilliant. That was our old settlement, by the way. Okay. Now three this street old... is, does this not exist anymore? No, that's right. That's, that's all been demolished, is it? Yeah, yeah. There, it's just the long hill. That's right. Yes. We've got the new centre, the right. link centre. Okay, yeah. Three old houses. That's the, right. the, the, each passage had a hole in it. Okay. So that we could get through from one house. Oh wow. Wow. Yeah. So, tell me a bit about Clara then. You knew her, yeah? Well, she was a bit of a character, really. Yeah. A, I mean, I knew her as a young. Woman. Okay. Yes, yeah. she was. Uh, I don't know. She was just. She was always somebody that was always there. Yeah. She was always there. She was concerned that we, as children, had nothing beautiful to look at. Yeah. So each week she would put a picture up in one of her windows. This could be a picture of ballet dancers. Could be right. a picture of a horse. A harvest scene. People picking fruit, something beautiful. Right. And on our way home from school, though we went to Devonshire School and lived in that road, yeah. we only had to walk down the road. On a Monday, we always came round the long way to see what the new picture was for the week. Oh, right. She, she lived for her children. Yeah. She lived for us. Well, we, I think that's how this father. Well, she used to walk around the streets and see the things that the children were playing with. Yeah. And that's what poverty. Yeah. Because we've got a lot name in there, but half the stuff is gone. There was um. All paper, yeah. tied up with string, what the little boys used to use okay. as a football. Yeah. A peg, and they painted a face on it, and dressed it in paper with a doll. Okay. And then we, we used to play a game. Oh, God. Oh, yes, yes. But they, because we used to, I mean, you could buy the one, you know, they was popular, like a little stone, coloured stone. Yeah. But these used to be four stones just picked out of the wall, out of the road, and a little barb what the kids used to play with because they couldn't have And two skewers, meat skewers, yeah. for knitting needles, and a bit of string for wool. But they was all toys, what children were playing with. What? Yeah. And that's what made her start all this. She started to appeal for toys and things like that. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that's how it all started. One of the things I had in my bundle, one, yeah. something I treasured for a long time, it was a conker, yeah. in which five pins I could put, put from the back of a chair, mm. and twine of cotton would be right woven in and out from the back of the chair, and the conker had four pins as legs, and that was a chair for a dog. And then there was also a little dolls, pet dolls as well. Oh. But that was matchstick stuff in it for a spider. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes, she remembered. Had a lot of them, and we also got a bundle of cards. Okay. And with the bundle of cards, would be given some instructions what we could do. We could use them for scrapbook. Right. We could make them into bookmarks. We could use them for the cover of a blotting pad that we could make for some of our Christmas. <laughs> Miss Brown told me very certain that the children not only had something, but knew what to do with it. Mm -hmm. He really wanted to stimulate us, the whole child, to give us something rich to think about and to yeah. But I always maintain, half of my parents and the people with whom I was billeted, she had more of in my life than anyone else. She did? Oh. Yeah. Well, cause it, I mean, it, it spread out from the children's toys then. Yeah. She started to say, ask for clothes. We had a cradle club, what people used to make a lot of stuff for us. And she we used to make parcels up for the people with the babies, because the people in the front so they used to have a little party and a, a crate for that, we had. That was, she said she'd done an awful lot for this car. She did. She really did, didn't mm. she? Mm. And everybody knew her, because she, she always walked amongst them. Oh. 
everybody see her go to church. I mean, when she used to go to church, she used to go to All Hallows Church. All Hallows, yeah. yeah. And every, as kids, we used to get, wanted to buy old something for her. Oh. She used to get, one of us had one glove, one of us had the other. And then one of uh, uh, a hymn book, she wouldn't let you have a book, she would let you have a hymn book. But she, she was always there, she said to me, she went on forever. <laughs>
back to us. Yes. I'll move your feet to serve the program. You have no time to take it. Super big up. Charlie Brown. Charlie Brown. just behind Charlie there. Brown. Yeah, it's one of them brown looking ones. Yeah. Which is appropriate. Yeah, yeah. it's on the right hand side. Okay. Just coming further down. Yeah. 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 He was, he what was, was it? He was a cartoonist, wasn't he? I don't know. Charlie Brown? <laughs> Be nice if that had fitted just at crop. Perhaps if you can pull it out slightly. That's it. You got it. Um, can you push your side down a bit? No, no not you, Vince. The other lady. That's, that's it. it. That's it. That's and then he's showing the flowers as well. Yeah. Just this vein here. Yeah. yeah. So that's kind of like a Sorry, I'm on. Right, no, that's fine. That that can move that stone. Yeah, that move out. That's it. Oh, it's not straight. What if we put that to that side leaning over there on it? Can you manage that? Yeah. Have it in your eye a bit? Yeah, this. <laughs> I'll tell you, what if you put it in an angle? So that half of it's over the book. The other lady wants to stay on the other side, yeah, right? You're right there? Right. Yeah, cool. Uh, I got. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get. I've lost the reds last time. Hey, did you could um, look, look this way and give me a big smile? Oh, I've got a lovely one of you. Oh. <laughs> they always get behind the professional. <laughs> <laughs> and just got you to do one more. Better than being a film star, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Celebrity for a day. <laughs> Don't get the money, do you, babe? No. And one more time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Smile in the candy camera. <laughs> Apologies to Charles Brown. He's going to stand on his tomb. 
And what I'm going to say, you all know already, but it's very important to say it here, so that it goes through our minds at this time. Now, a lot of the very big and very old people have gone up to the grave and had a look. There isn't room for all of the small and younger people, but if you can come with your parents or your older brothers and sisters, it's worth coming to see Clara Grant's grave, her tomb, the tomb of a very famous, very well-known, very loving woman of Tower Hamlets. There are a lot of very famous people from Tower Hamlets, most of them women. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Here, here. <laughs> here, here, they say. Remember Edith Carvel, oh. Annie Besant, and also, of course, Clara Grant, and many others. And there was the soldier lady, I can't even remember her name. But also William Booth, um, Dr. Bernardo. Clara Grant is in that school, that group of people. She was born in Wiltshire in 1867 and I don't know how she heard about the East End of London but she wanted to come here as a teacher and this interests me enormously because 40 years ago almost to the day I started teaching here in Tower Hamlets very close to Cable Street so Clara Grant is very close to my own heart too and here I am after a lifetime back again because this area pulls you to it, and it pulled her, pulled in, Clara Grant. She became head teacher of All Hallows School, which must have had something to do with All Hallows Church, where I work. So she was head of the church school, and then she became head of Devon's Road School, which turned into Clara Grant School, actually named after her. And of course she is best known for two very important things, for starting the Fern Street Settlement and for being the bundle lady of Tower Hamlets, for being the farthing bundle lady. And you've probably all seen the arch under which small children had to pass, which is still at the Fern Street Settlement. So let us remember today this wonderful lady, Clara Grant, and the way that she continues to affect our lives, even the lives of the policemen who are here today, because <laughs> of her. So though dead many a year, Clara Grant still affects our lives. And let's give thanks for her life here in this place. And I'm going to read a short prayer. If you wish. If you wish to make it your prayer too, you can, if you like, say Amen at the end. <coughs> Let us pray. Almighty God, whose days are without end and whose mercies cannot be numbered, we praise your holy name for all your servants departed this life in your faith and fear. Remember for good we pray your servant Clara Grant and all her work in this place. We humbly ask you so to bless us that remain here on earth, that we, in our generation, may follow her example, so to serve and please you in our turn, always having before us the good of others and the determination to fulfill the same. Amen. Amen. Now the choir is going to sing. Oh. Oh, my sunshine, my only sunshine, you make me happy, the skies are grey. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. Daisy, Daisy, oh. give me your answer, <laughs> I'm half crazy over the love of you. 
Thank you. 